Hello DJs of YouTube, my name is Deep and today's question is Can we DJ using just the laptop? The answer is Yes, yes you can DJ using just the laptop by using the keyboard and the mouse and you can get quite creative while doing this. Now a lot of us are in the situation where we are in a lockdown and we cannot go out and we cannot buy the equipment or the new DJing gear. So a lot of you might be interested in learning something new and I'm sure quite a few of you were interested in DJing. So what you can do is you can learn this method to start DJing today using just your laptop. And once you get better and if you still are interested, you can then go ahead and buy yourself a DJ controller so you can practice and be a better DJ. Let's get back to the basics. What equipment do you need to DJ? You need a device that can play the music and that's called a player. You need two of them because you need to play two tracks and mix the both. And to mix the both, you need another device called the mixer. And today, all this is possible in a DJ software. Which DJ software do I recommend? Well, this is where I'm quite excited to announce that today's sponsor for this video is Pioneer DJ and the software that I recommend is Recordbox 6. How I wish, but no guys, no, this video is not sponsored. I'm not getting paid to tell you which DJ software to use. I genuinely recommend you guys Recordbox 6 as the DJ software of choice. And the reason behind that is that it's completely free. That's right, you don't need to go to different websites and search for a crack. You can go to their official website and download the software for free. And because it's free, I think it's a great software for you DJs out there who are interested in the art of DJing and who wants to try their hands on DJing. This is a great place to start. I have already installed the software on my laptop. Now let's go ahead and open that. Now when you open the software, you will be presented with a screen like this. Recordbox started as a music management software and this screen is just for that. You can create playlists here and add music into the software but to perform you will have to choose the performance mode. I have already made a video about how to organize your music in your laptop and how to organize your music in Recordbox and create playlists and all of those things. I will leave a link down in the description box and you may want to check that out first. Now let's get back to the video. On the top left corner you will see a drop down menu which will say export. Click on that and you can select the performance mode here. And now you're in the performance mode. You will see that this screen is where you will see two players and this one in the center is the mixer. As I said in the beginning of the video all you need is two players and one mixer and this is all you need to start DJing. Now let's talk about the basic functions that you need to start DJing on the laptop. So you need a way to play and cue a track to each deck and you need a way to mix between the two tracks. Let me show you how to do just that. You can do that just by using the mouse or the trackpad on your laptop like this. With a mouse, you can only do one thing at a time. So I recommend you both a mouse and a keyboard. Now here's where it gets tricky. You will need to learn some key commands on your keyboard. Now on a controller or a player, we have dedicated keys for certain commands like play and queuing. But when you're DJing using just the laptop, you will have to use the keyboard to trigger certain commands like play and pause. Now by default, the Q button is the alphabet A and the play button is the alphabet Z. That is for deck one. And for deck two, the Q button is the alphabet H and the play button is the alphabet N. And I think that's good enough. Nothing needs to be changed here. But the mixer is not mapped. So we will have to do that. What I've done is I've assigned the arrow keys to the crossfader so you can mix between two tracks. Let me show you how to do that. For that, go to the preferences, then click on keyboard. Make sure it's on performance preset 1. 
Now click on the plus sign on the mixer option, go all the way down and you will see slide crossfader options. You will have to add four commands for slide crossfader to left small and slide crossfader to right small and then slide crossfader to left large and slide crossfader to right large. Now to do that just click on the plus icon here that says add a new mapping and then you will have to press the key you want to use. In this case we are using the left key so we press the left key then click OK. Do the same to the other three and you are done. And now you can use the keyboard to crossfade and mix your music. Now this method is called mapping. Once done, you're good to go. From here, it's all about practice and the more you practice, the better you get. Now let me show you how you can mix. First step is loading the tracks that you want to mix. And that is quite easy. Just select the track, drag it and drop it into the decks. Now we will mix the track on deck 1 with the track on deck 2. Play track 1 on deck 1. You can use the Z key to play that. And wait for the right time to mix the next track. Press the letter N to play the next track. Use the arrow keys to crossfade from track A to track B. Using the crossfader is an easy way to start DJing and mix two tracks. Now make sure that the sync is on, this will make the mixing easier. And if you don't want to use the sync, you can pitch bend using the keys W and E. W to slow down and E to speed up. But when you're starting out, don't try to complicate things. You may lose interest. It's better that you get your hands around the software first and then you can slowly start experimenting. And that's how easy it is to mix two tracks using the laptop. In this video, I just wanted to teach you the basics of mixing using a laptop so you can directly go to the website, download the software by the end of this video and start DJing. Now, if you guys are interested, I can actually make a video about teaching you how to DJ using just the laptop where I can show you how to mix better, how to add loops and how to add some samples to make your mix better and how to add additional effects using the keyboard and all of those amazing things. If you guys are interested about that, please comment in the comment section below and if this video hits 10,000 views, I will go ahead and make that video where I will deep dive into the art of DJing using just the laptop. So if you guys are interested, you know what to do. All you need to do is share this video on Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp and all those amazing places so that you and me can reach the 10,000 views goal sooner so I create that video and you guys can learn how to DJ using just the laptop. Now that's it for today guys. I hope you guys learned something new today and I also hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy to help!